something you want to walk out of your front door and see. Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis has been tracking this for us. The we flags are, approaching, are flapping. Yeah, they are. Sure are. We're approaching the hour when it should be expiring, correct? Well, uh, the, the advisory will expire, but we're still talking about winds tonight, gusting probably 30 to 40 miles an hour. Okay, so, so still you're going to have to be a little cautious out there, mm -hmm. just not an advisory for it. The only advisory still in effect is for our northern counties. We'll break that down for you here in just a moment. Right now, though, we want to show you what to expect this evening. Still look for some windy conditions. 48 at 7 o'clock. We'll see mostly cloudy skies down to 46 at 9 p.m. And those readings will still be in the middle 40s, more or less, there as uh, we head toward the evening hours. And you can see uh, right around 45 at 11 o'clock or so. Then tomorrow morning, we'll wake up uh, with probably some breaks in the clouds, even uh, partly to mostly sunny conditions in the southern Miami Valley. Mostly cloudy still across the north, 36 degrees at 8 o'clock, and then a uh, partly sunny sky into the afternoon, although maybe mostly sunny here in the Dayton area for the morning and at least up toward about noontime. 45 degrees at noon, upper 40s in the afternoon and 45 at 5 p.m. Still that low risk as far as our severe weather index goes because of the gusty winds over the next 24 hours. Still could see those winds tomorrow at 30 to 40. And our headlines today still kind of windy this evening. Even though the winds have backed off a little bit right now, uh, we're still picking up some decent wind gusts out there at this time. Some partial clearing on the way for tonight and we'll be looking at more gusty winds around the area on Friday. What we can expect for tonight, wind sustained 15 to 30 miles per hour, gusts up to about 40. Skies becoming partly cloudy later tonight and still going to have some uh, difficult driving conditions for some of those larger vehicles with that big broad area to catch the wind uh, right on through tomorrow. The camera, stall vision camera shaking around out in Beaver Creek. Cloudy skies, at least the roads are dry, but still pretty breezy out there at this time. All clear on live Doppler 2 HD down here in the Dayton area. There have been a few sprinkles in the northern Miami Valley, but uh, for the most part, it's been dry and still plenty of cloud cover over our area, although we are seeing some clearing working to uh, just west of Indianapolis and some of those breaks in the clouds headed our way late this evening and overnight. Right now, we're down to 49, a west wind at 22, still gusting up to 31. Barometric pressure rising rapidly as that low pressure area pulls across the Great Lakes, still producing some strong sustained winds, 29 at Cleveland, 26 Toledo, 25 for the sustained winds up at Lima, and those winds have been gusting very strong, over 50 miles per hour up northern Ohio, 50 at Toledo, 53 at Lima, our peak wind gusts today, 41 miles per hour. Weather check readings right now dropping off into the 40s west of us. Uh, David Wessler, New Paris at 47 degrees, up in Bradford, Scott Biesecker at 49, and you can see the readings in the low 50s elsewhere across the region, although Tom Wyckoff in Springfield at 48. Tonight, we'll get back to, at least in the southern part of the Miami Valley, those breaks in the clouds, even a little bit of clearing uh, across the region tomorrow morning, but only briefly as some more clouds will develop into the afternoon. We'll get back to those partly sunny skies. Let's check out your forecast. Here's what we've got coming up tonight, partly to mostly cloudy and windy. A chilly night on the way down to 36 degrees, still gusts of 35 miles per hour this evening. Partly sunny, windy, chilly tomorrow, but those gusts could get back up around 40. Afternoon high at 48. 41 at 10 o'clock, 45 at noon, and then we'll see those readings into the mid and upper 40s into the afternoon, 43 at 6 p.m. And your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast upper 40s on Saturday. Morning low around 30 with a lot of sunshine. 56 on Sunday after morning low at freezing. Up around 60 on Monday. Low 60s on Tuesday into the mid 60s on Wednesday. And it looks like the chance of rain coming back later Tuesday and into Wednesday of next week. But at least the weekend looks, looks pretty, pretty nice, nice, even though it'll be chilly. Yeah, all right.